Hi everyone, I'm Matt the Friendly Board Gamer and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a solo playthrough of the Mariana Trench. This is a 1-2 to player, quick playing, fun little game. I've um, been having a lot of fun with this recently and I just thought I'd do a solo playthrough, playthrough for you so you can get an idea of the gameplay. So what are we doing? Well, we are basically going to be delving down the depths of the Mariana Trench, potentially get into the trench floor to do a bit of research. We're going to be researching um, different sea creatures as we go along as well. And we'll be scoring points based on the research that we have done and also runs of different types of sea creatures and similar type of sea creatures as well. We have our basic sub here. It can hold one small fish or one small sea creature. It can descend 2,000 fathoms, which is effectively two cards. And we don't even have a sonar, but hopefully we can get some upgrades from these cards to improve our sub as we go along. We have our AI here, we're playing against the frogfish. He will be descending 2,000 fathoms as well, collecting upgrades, revealing cards. His job will be to descend as quickly as possible down to the bottom here, to the trench floor, where he collects a research token, and then he'll ascend upwards as quick as he can to deposit that. If he does that four times, the game will immediately end. If the deck runs out of cards, the game will end. And if I pop two rivets, which I get when I'm attacked by a cephalopod, then the game also ends then as well. So that's the basics of the game. Let's jump into some gameplay and I'll teach you and show you how it goes as we play the game. So me on the first go, I'm going to descend 2000 fathoms and reveal a card. So this is a, we've got a little tuna fish here. This is a small creature and this is the upgrade icon down at the bottom here. And uh, this will let me upgrade my ship if I can't load this into my ship, or oh, submarine, sorry, um, to collect big creatures, large creatures. But I'm going to load that into my ship, so I have one small um, sea creature. I keep saying ship, it's a submarine. Submarine, not ship. Research ship, submarine. So the AI is going to move, he will move down two spaces. He will reveal a card as well. This is a small sea creature also, so he will load that into his submarine. Move down and replace with a new card. So I'm going to descend, I'm going to actually go up one and reveal a card. This is another small sea creature. I can't load this because I can only hold one card or one sea creature, but I can upgrade my sub so I can now hold one large one or two small ones. So that was a good, good upgrade there. Replace the card. AI sub will move down two spaces. He will reveal a card. So this is the cephalopod. This is one of the giant octopuses. Cephalopod by this icon here in the top right hand corner. It's a large sea creature. So the cephalopods don't actually attack the AI. They just basically sit there to be collected. Um, I can potentially come and come research that later on and, and, and take that as a, a creature to part my research. That was the AI's turn. I will move up and I'm going to deposit my research off of the research ship. I'll put them over here and because they'll be part of the um, scoring later on. The AI will move down to the trench floor and collect a research token. Now, one of the things you can do on your turn, you can spend a whole turn at the research ship to get a charge token. And I'm going to get one of them. What these charge tokens do is, if I was to be attacked by a cephalopod, uh, basically it negates the attack. It stuns the creature. Um, it does it no harm, I promise. No cephalopods were harmed in the making of this video. Um, but basically, it stops me getting attacked. And if I lose two rivets, then I end the game. So I think that's a good use of my turn. So the AI will move upwards. He, on his ascent, he doesn't reveal cards, uh, but that's basically his turn. His idea is to get up there as quickly as possible. I will move down. I'm going to move down two and reveal a card. So this is a large sea creature and I can hold a large sea creature. So I'm going to pop that into there. It's part of my research. Place the card, move him down. AI again will move up to, not reveal a card. I'm actually going to, um, I'm going to move down one, potentially want some upgrades here. So this is an upgrade here that I can take at the bottom. This lets me basically move further, so I can move 3,000 fathoms now. So I'm going to take that as an upgrade because I can't load it um, and research into my ship because I'm full. AI will move up, he will deposit that, and he's got one research token so far. So I'm going to move down all the way to the bottom, 
and also collect a research token. These are worth two points at the end of the game. AI will move down two and reveal a card. Again, another cephalopod, which he won't, um, he doesn't take, but it doesn't attack him either. I can now go up three. I'm going to go up two just to see what this card is. This is a sonar, so I can take this as an upgrade. So on my turn, I can basically scout and reveal one of the cards, or peek at one of the cards prior to moving, which is very useful. So the AI again is going to move down for two. Um, doesn't take the card. I will then move up for three and drop off my manta ray. And also my um, research token there. And I will move down, get to the research token. I'm going to move down one, two, three. Now, because this manta ray, uh, this cephalopod has already been revealed, it doesn't attack me, so I can take that giant squid and load it, research it, and add it to my submarine. AI is going to move up one, two. It doesn't reveal cards on the ascent. Um, I think I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to come down two and collect another research token. I said these are worth points at the end of the game. You'll go up for two. I will go up for one, two, three. Reveal a card. Um, I can't take that. I can't load it because I'm full with my one large creature. Um, and I've also already got that upgrade, so he will just sit there. AI yeah, will move, and he's dropped off two research tokens. So about halfway through the game, so you can see it's a pretty quick game. Um, AI's play the AI play the AI plays pretty quick. Not too many rules overheads, which is, is always quite nice. So I'm going to move up, drop off my giant squid and another research token. AI yeah, will move down two. He will load that creature. Um, what should I do? I think I'm going to move down one, two, three. Let's see what's here. Oops, I am misplacing my cards. Because of my upgrade, I can still move three. It's a small creature. So I think I will load that. Move all these down and replace. Again, AI is going to move down two. It can't take the giant octopus. Cephalopod. So I will, um, I think I might do a bit of research. No, a bit of, I think I might use my sonar. Yeah, any time in my turn, I can look at an unrevealed card, which is above or below me. I think I might look at that one. Because that's a large one, so that's no use to me. Okay, I will go up to and hope that this is a small creature, which it is, fantastic. Again, when you've got the large hold, I can um, research two small or one large sea creatures. And I will move down with the research token. I will move up and deposit off both of these. So I've now got three of the same type here. So I've got one, two, three of a kind and a run of one, two, three different ones. I've still got my charge token. And I will move up for two. I will. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I'll move down for three and reveal this. Oh, this is another cephalopod. I've got another giant octopus, which is good because I have my charge token, which I will spend. I do lose that, but that will not attack me. And then I can load that into my submarine. Well, AI will go up for two. I think I am going to uh, move for one, two, three. Deposit another cephalopod. I've got a giant squid and a giant octopus. I've got three of a kind, a two of a kind, and a run of one, two, and three. And I will move up. It will drop off its third research token and also um, another sea creature. I will. Um, what should I do? So I want this. That could potentially be quite useful. Um, so I'm going to move one, two. Yeah, let's 
move to see what we've got so I've hit another giant squid another cephalopod see here so that is going to make me pop a rivet it attacks my sub one out of two rivets have gone but I can load that into my ship oh, I keep saying ship into my submarine I do apologize it's a submarine so AI will descend for two so it can't actually hold this one because it's a large sea creature, but it can use it as an upgrade. So it's got an upgraded sonar, although it doesn't actually use a sonar. And we are getting near the end. We've reached oxygen three, so we're running out of oxygen. Um, so the end of the game is not too far off. Um, I will do, 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 do. one, two, three, move down here and get a research token. Hope that I can ascend before we run out of cards. AI will move for one, two. Um, doesn't load the um, cephalopods. I will then ascend for one, two, three. And let's hope that this is not a cephalopod. It is not. It's a small sea creature which I can't take because I've got a large one already in my in my hold, and also I've already got the sonar upgrade. So the AI will move down and get one research token. I will send, drop off a research token and drop off my research. AI will move up for two. I will move down for one, two, and research this small sea creature here. Let's move that down. Oxygen two is coming, so we've only got one card left in the deck. AI will move up for two. I think I will I think I have to move up for two as well. Drop off my small sea creature up here. AI will move up and drop off his fourth research token. And that is basically triggers the end of the game. So the way scoring works, if you can see on this card here, got a nice little handy reference card. You've got research points that count as two. Uh, you lose two for each pot rivet. You get a run of two. Three or four gets you points, and two of a kind, three of a kind, four of a kind get you points as well. So I have three of a kind here, uh, which is four points. I've got three of a kind here, which is four points, that's eight points. And then I've got a run of one, two, three, and four different ones. So a run of four is three points, that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Minus two is 15. So 15, if we look on the rules here, solo game, 15 points. Not a very good deep sea research scientist. I got a marine biology technologist. So there you go. So I'll probably not give up my day job. Just stay away from um, operating a submarine, I think, and, and researching the Mariana Trench. But as you can see, it's a really quick game really accessible this playmat is absolutely brilliant love this it's such good quality really vibrant nice colors the artwork is fantastic um, and uh, yeah it's just a very nice light quick playing game it plays great two players as well as solo um, and yeah this is coming to kickstarter soon so i highly recommend that you check this out um, it's september end of september and i think it's coming in october next month and um, so to be sure to keep an eye you can get notified for when it launches if you head on up to kickstarter I will also be doing my final thoughts and a default dice review on this. So head on over to the blog um, to keep up to date with that. And feel free to check out all my social media content, which will be down here somewhere. Um, all my links to Facebook, Twitter, and the blog, my email address will be on there. And also my other YouTube content. Feel free to hit subscribe uh, so you can keep up to date with when I release new videos. And hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching and hope to catch you on the next video. Bye-bye.